Hello there everyone and welcome back to TNO The Last Days of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mokolov, and right now, we gotta talk about heavy-handed measures. From Bayushin land to the Cape, South Africa's precincts ring with the din of marching feet and thrumming engines. Under the watchful eye of sergeants are dr weapons drilled, protocols reviewed, heavy armor donned, and targets identified. Likewise, the officers under the command fulfill their new tasks with competence and zeal. It seems as if the South African police are preparing for war, and if one were to consider Commissar Duploy's heavy-handed measures as anything but, then they will find themselves deluded and, if unfortunate, choking in tear gas. As is often the case, the upper echelons are split as to how extensive these measures are. Some caution restraint and advocate for isolated raids against notable agitators, whereas hard-nosed hardliners consider simultaneous imprisonment of hundreds in the gatherings and conventions acceptable. They look to us to conclusively settle this debate. Small but sure and swift, 80% chance of doing pretty well or enforce the law to the utmost. That's not bad. Interesting, interesting. But we crack down on publications currently. It's widely known that the ANC, or the African National Congress, operates its own propaganda machine, encompassing both illicit or illicit and new blah, both illicit newspapers and clandestine printing presses, of course. The former presents the ANC as a force of peace, willing to work with the whites for the betterment of South Africa, while the latter encourages the black population to join the militant arm of their organization to free all natives once and for all from a, a certain tyranny of a certain color. It's clear that both kinds of propaganda are dangerous, as they are a cunning way to hide their true nature to the government's eyes, while plotting behind our shoulders to strike at the right moment, effective immediately. All newspapers run by the <clears throat> by blacks are to be subjugated to the newly established censorship committee, and our investigators will find and destroy all secret publications. They should prevent the Congress from seeking new members, and we get some more political power because we need that immediately. War sports stability, we lose some libertarian social uh, support, we lose some F ideology support, conservative democracy, we re get regulated public meetings, which make us lose political power, but we do get some more stability, and actually going down this part of the tree here, is just going to get us more diamonds, so this one give us no more diamonds, but at least this one will, two extra diamonds a month, well, that sounds extra nice, but broadcast anti-ANC propaganda, in order to fight fire with fire, we'll build up our own propaganda machine, government run newspapers and radio transmissions will begin a media offensive against the African National Congress painting its re leaders as ruthless revolutionaries who don't care about killing innocents and sacrificing their own people to achieve that travesty they call independence, which in truth is only to be subservient to another master. We shall rally the whites against the black menace and make it so that even the natives will come to fear and despise their own kind. Some will say that what we're doing would make Goebbels proud, but unlike the Germans, we are protecting freedom, not squashing it. We should get more fascism support, fascism support here. But we do get no more free press, but censored press with more political power. Very cool. But I did want to wait here and do this one. Um, I forgot the election still going on. And right now, we have 45, 47% somewhat of the electorate. And that's why I want to get the political power now. Just so that we can get, you know, raise uh, more support here. Because this is nice. Bayesian land is somewhat supportive of us. Transvaal doesn't really support us. They're very neutral to us. And these guys are opposed. So Transvaal is probably what we want to do. Even though Bayushinlin is only 2% of the population. There's someone supportive. So it is what it is. So we'll see what happens. I will have to fade and fade out if this goes wrong. I want to try to do enforce the law to the utmost. And if it goes bad, well, then we're going to read two things here. Maybe. We'll see what happens. And a bad day becomes what? Is it, is it a bad day? Is it, is, is it a good day? Hopefully it's a good day. We want good days, right? We definitely want some good old days, but we do have a cup of coffee here and quite a few comments to go through, especially some uh, very upvoted comments. All right, three more days for this first. That's not bad. And we, we just got to get that peepee, man. Broadcast at anti-ANC propaganda. Please, please, please. And there we go. Thank you very much. Look at all that peepee. -pee. All right, so, yeah, Bayushin land. It's just, there's not very much here. It's a protectorate in the province of Transvaal. Oh, wait, there's support for the monarchy somewhat. Supportive, extremely supportive, opposed, somewhat supportive, trans hmm. Suppress voters. Divert forces to attempt to suppress Republican voter blocks within the Transvaal province. Uh, Natal? I mean, Natal is what? They're, it's only 10%. They're extremely supportive of us. Orange Free State, really, they're opposed to us, which sucks. Um, honestly, they're already supportive. That's really good. With the Bayushinland province, 2% is not enough. It's not enough. It's really just not enough. We're going to lose more support. So you know what? Maybe we'll hold on to it. Let's see what happens. I do want to spend more diamonds. God, I love diamonds. Well, I don't... I, in my own personal life, I don't care about diamonds at all. But if we can get stuff from selling diamonds, then I love it. A bad day in Boy Patong. 
Bust Von Week of the South African Police knew he had to prepare for every eventuality for the raid on the AMC activists. It came with several other officers who were well trained, outfitted with weapons, and were aware of everything that could go wrong. The suspect might be armed, he might have friends, he might not be in the same building. They had contingency plans for all these options, but he didn't have a plan for a crowd of AMC supporters when he turned in onto the street. Crap, said the part his partner, Officer Hanacom, as the police car stopped in front of the crowd. What are they doing here? They found out, Von Weick said aloud, Mother of God. The ANC must have found out, he decided, and gotten their supporters to protest. The suspect must have been hidden by now. He got on the radio and yelled, calling all cars, we got a protest in Boy Pantong. The ANC has a bunch of their goons out in force, and we need a riot squad over. But then, a crowd of marchers appeared behind the small convoy of police cars, cutting them off. The cars tr tried to get out, but it was too late. They're beginning to be swarmed by agitated protesters. Von Weick, or Weick. Knew he was now serious. He stepped out of his car, brandishing a shotgun as he announced, You are blocking a law enforcement vehicle, disperse at once. Uh, police F off, screamed the protesters. Police F off. Get the F back, yelled Von Bike. Struggling to be heard over the chance, let us through war. Then he heard the sounds of a revolver being fired, and then another. Maybe we should just let the sleeping dogs lie. So, I'm glad we got to read that one. So, let's go back and have the, hopefully, a better successful day in Boy Patong. Alright, everyone. So... I couldn't get the good event to spawn, so we still got the bad one. But I decided, you know what, I want us to go big or go home, so we went with the... We, basically, we got both. Basically, I used cons commands to get this event here, because I tried it like 10 times off screen, and we constantly got this one, and I tried the other option we had as well, and we always got just bad results, so I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Obviously, we have these results. But, and then you come over here, a job well done, we can rest easier over here. It's literally the exact opposite, so basically, we get nothing out of this. So, whatever. But, a good day in Boy Patong. It was a smashing success by any measurement. Personally, Officer Bast Van Wyk could attest to it. One raid in the morning on an ANC activist in Boy Patong. A file was recovered that had several names of several other ANC members in the area. More raids, more information, and more arrests. It was a long day, but at the end of it, the South African police had arrested or several suspects in their custody who would no longer be agitating the public so openly. And his partner. Hanacom had told him of some better news. It seems the national raids were a success. Hundreds of ANC agitators were now behind bars from Bay Ocean Land to the Cape. That would put a big dent in their operations, he figured. True, some had got, hadn't gotten captured, but at least they wouldn't be poking their heads up anytime soon. So what comes next, he wondered? The ANC was smashed by now. Maybe they'd do something rash in retaliation. Maybe they wouldn't. Maybe they'd just never be heard from again, but that wasn't likely, he assumed. These things typically didn't stop with just one raid. One raid might just take out a criminal organization, and but there'd be a new one up and running in a couple of months. But that was life. Even if the wind blows down your fence, you still put it back up. At this critical moment in the history of South Africa, it was nice to have a little breathing room. A job well done, and we can nurse easier. Well, and basically not... I guess technically we did get some more support, so... Uh, you know, I tried it like 10 times off screen, and I'll be honest, like at the time it's recording, I don't have a ton of time, but... Oh well, it is what it is. Desperate neutrality. American journalist arrested in a raid. The man cleared his throat. Composing himself in the face of Calvin's uncouth demeanor, he spoke again. Sir, the American public, well, the Americans, have a short attention span, which is absolutely true. Calvin smiled a bit, sensing progress in this long and painful exchange. His cigarette returned to its rightful place, and his posture slumped backwards into the knolls of his desk chair, you mean Lansdale. Yes, with all due respect, he could never understand the severity of our situation. His countrymen have gotten an ocean between them and all the boogeymen. If I may, sir, what exactly is he offering? Calvin obliged him, settling into the more direct dynamic the conversation had taken. 1,500 rifles and 300 anti-tank platforms for one bleeding heart journalist. The man clasped his hands upon his knees. He had suddenly assumed a confident persona that made Calvin feel small. I can understand how that may be tempting. I implore you, Harbor, to consider again the American attention spam to a journalist or diplomat our union is nothing more than a peculiarity something exotic to observe from afar sure we may get some aid from this guy or for this guy then what the germans will still grow closer every day you're saying we should press for more i'm saying we keep their focus i want them to see that even one of their own isn't safe we need a constant ally one who understands there are some within this government sir who wish to highlight the true face of the ANC. Calvin suddenly understood why this young man had been so nervous with his proposition. The blood drained from his face as the severity of the crime dawned upon him, and he could hardly argue with this necessity. They needed the Americans to stay involved, and now more than ever, an ANC attack on an American journalist was the perfect catalyst. This could backfire spectacularly. Shut it down. Bloody heck, do it. You know what? Let's go big or go home. So, like I did before, I, I, I saved in front of you. I actually saved for this one too here. Hey, look, my Salvin save is over here too. Cool. But, you know what? Go big and go home, and if the event doesn't go well for us, we'll see what happens. So, I do apologize for not making this, you know, a perfect run, but whatever. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, okay. We need more infantry equipment. Um, that one too. Ad advise South African troops when selected, we get some stuff. We get Operation Colossus, and it's active for 180 days. When effects removed, remove those guys, which we do want, but 
Recon the northern borders. I'm not sure what this will really do, because we do need to spend our political power on the election, maybe? So, they're somewhat supportive. I kind of want to wait to see what happens. Obviously, it doesn't go well, then it doesn't go well, but you never know, right? You never know. Yay, more diamonds. Uh, we got some roads, some civvies. Fun militias. I like that. Buy oh, and guns. I like this one, too. Buy packed guns. How many guns are we out? We're out of just so many guns. Holy crap. 750 guns would be super nice. OFN stationing. I honestly would prefer to get another military factory if we can. So, then again, we literally have no steel. Four by two, because we're doing pretty well on our civvies. Yeah, that's not too bad. So, hopefully, we can make way more guns now and some more equipment as well. Um, honestly, I'd prefer the military factory. We get more guns, get some more manpower. A civvy would be pretty darn nice as well. You know what? Let's get another civvy if we possibly can. A thousand guns ain't bad, but get another civvy just so we can trade it away so we can make more equipment. Um, steal, get one more. Cool. So now we should be able to make a slightly more, not a lot more, but slightly more. I hope that was worth it, man. I hope that was really worth it. Hoagie, cool. All right, and then. Radicalize the ANC. In our effort to protect South Africa from instability, we must consistently be battle ready. With the tensions rising to unheard levels and several irresponsible radicals pushing our country's African majority to violence, we could be called to defend our nation sooner than we might expect. Should things go even worse, we can't expect the police to keep order. Therefore, the SADF must be fully equipped, mobilized, and ready to take the streets in, in the event of an attack by armed rogue coloreds. Who show the boars that we don't need to betray our country like the National Front to maintain order? I get more diamonds every month. We lose some stability, but that's okay. But ultimately, I want to increase the support for the monarchy. All right, let's start you off with a revolver. This is a Smith & Wesson, Model 27. It's used by plenty of American police forces who have trouble in the high crime slums, much like us today, hmm? Yes, said uh, Kalen Walker as he looked at the assortment of firearms the dealer brought to the range with him. There were so many, and he knew next to nothing about them. He was an accountant, not a soldier, for God's sakes. Is this a good personal defense weapon? The dealer laughed as he started loading the firearm. It's a really good personal defense weapon. Not for hunting, though. Uh, it wasn't made for a lion, springbok, but for a game like the ANC. Here, he said, handing it over. Try putting a few rounds down range, see how she handles. Caitlin had taken a few shots before this and knew the general idea of firearm safety. Don't point at anything you don't mind losing. Keep the fingers away from the gas ports and treat it like it's loaded at all times. He flicked off the safety and assumed a stance. With both hands, he aimed it at the center of the target and darn, it was a huge kick. The dealer laughed. Well, at least you got it on the paper, he said. Don't worry, you'll get used to it when you fire off a couple more. Seeing this distressed look on the customer's face, he said. If that was too much, we could go for a letter round. No, 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 this, gun, this gun's all right, Caitlin said. Wanting to bring this to a quick occlusion a conclusion is possible. Do you have some ammo for that? We have two varieties, pointed tip and hollow point. Now, the hollow points are more expensive, but you get what you pay for in terms of stopping power and the fact that they don't go through walls and hurt people on the other side. I'm, I'm guessing that's a concern for you. Keelan nodded. The three girls, he said. Well, that sells it then. How many boxes do you want? More, more, feel unsafe. <sighs> I love the manpower. Army and high alert would be very good because I want to get more war support, but equipment would be very good to get. Motorized, not too bad. Who funds them? We're going to lose our GDP stuff, but... Industrial expertise goes down, you get more output. Let's go to the Army and Hyler. For those who would seek to dismount our union from within, grow ever bolder and increasingly violent, we must be wary of the limitations of our security forces. Day by day, they grow more and more stretched, struggling to cope with the deadly challenges they are now faced with. We must admit that our security forces will soon be unable to cope with the pressures placed upon them. The army must be placed on high, upon high alert, ready to deploy domestically to keep the peace. It's not what the army is designed to do, and the average private is far from properly trained to do the job of a police officer, but we may soon have little other choice. Happy 1972, 62 still, 62, hope. Oh. Oh, can we do some more voting here? Someone supportive? Transval, yes. We can suppress voters and... Well, why would we do that? Very little support, so who cares about that? Ah, there we go. I was thinking about doing... Uh, now they're at what? Support. 58%. Doing about this one. Suppress voters, but... So we're going to remove... Is it the removed one? No, okay. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. Someone supportive. Opposed. Someone supportive. Still, anyone's match. So now they're still at fifty-eight percent, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, ooh, look at that! More industry, yes, please. Thank you. It's still sixty-two, of course. Anything down here? Not too much. We could get some better planes, but do we have a better? Uh, let's get some better artillery first. I think that'd be good. Thank you. Keep cutting down the debt. That'd be very bueno. On harder, and then reinforce the police. So we get some more equipment as well, which would be super bueno. Ah, four-year drafts. It's gonna hurt us a little, little bit, but. I think it's worth it. It's always good to be drafted. Well, maybe not always, but... 
it can do okay. Research, I mean, look at that. You get a civvy, it lowers their anger. You get bonus of land auction. I mean, that is just absolutely worth it, in my opinion. Um, I want to see, recon the northern borders. Um, I kind of want to see what happens. I mean, I'll see with this stuff. I mean, we're pretty extremely supportive, extremely supportive, somewhat supportive. I think we'll do okay even if we don't. That should be good enough. I'm going to recon the northern borders. We'll see what happens. There are men higher alert than reinforce the police. How can we protect order and stability when our policemen are armed with only batons and handguns and our opponents employ rifles and bombs? We can't always send in the army. If we want to keep the peace, the police must be properly equipped to reestablish it with a proper amount of force, lethal if necessary. Protective vehicles and military grade weapons such as SMGs and stun grenades would give our peacekeepers the edge they need to prevail over any ANC, ANC terrorist. Let's see if they are foolish enough to attempt a full scale uprising. But it, Sunday evening at the Church of Transfiguration, many things flow through the mind of Piel ne Piet ne as he sat in prayer during the evening service of the Anglican Church in the Cape Town suburb of Belleville. He thought about his sick mother, and his father was taking care of her. He thought about his son's broken leg. He thought about God and many things far beyond the understanding or comprehension of man. The blast brought him back into the moment. Shaving his wife's head down behind the pew as he took over. He heard another one go off behind him, and another. This time with gunshots and horrified screams looking at the aisle. He saw many worshippers being hit with automatic fire, and another blast throwing up limbs, bodies, and splinters of wood from the destroyed pews. The initial shock wore off, and he remembered that he had decided to take his snub nose Model 10 to church today. Thankful for his foresight, he took it out and peeked around the corner of the pew with it, hoping to use it to its fullest extent possible. Several Bantu were there, PAC maybe, armed with assault rifles, which they were firing at churchgoers. One threw a grenade, which explained the blasts. Piet knew his gun was not going to tip this odds in his favor, but he had to use it anyway. He started shooting, taking aim at one of the Africans. Amazingly, the sudden show of resistance panicked and sent the PAC running away. These weren't trained military, and they don't plan to deal with their actual resistance than other than to run like heck. Piet followed them as he reloaded, but only saw a car zoom away as he got to the door. He, they had got away, but he had saved the church. But he looked back and saw the wounded, dead, and maimed, and the ones that were going to die strewn about on the floor of the church. And he knew that his foresight and good fortune were not nearly enough. Nothing is sacred. Nowhere is safe. <sighs> Tearing down a country. One day at a time, Operation Springbok. Yeah, this operation has provided highly valuable intel on the border between Fields and Crusader. On the recommendation of Juliet, a bear, b Green Beret units were inserted into Fields to conduct recon along the northern border to key points of interest. Notable findings include the potential of redacted mountain range as a natural defensive line against a Crusader offensive from the southeast. The favorability from the internal interior terrain of Fields towards both a Crusader invasion and a joint Triggerman torch counteroffensive, and lastly, the incredibly harsh conditions and landscape of Northwest fields, making it likely all forces operating in the region would suffer high environmental attrition. Copies of the findings of Operation Springbok have already been distributed to trustworthy elements within Triggerman, along with advice from Torch advisors on how to best utilize the information. For the full topographical topographical report and its military significance, please see attached documents one through four. The Green Beret units that took part in Springbok have been ordered to remain in fields to engage in further operations in the region. Understood. Oh, I love it. And then reinforce the police, please. You, we must. We must. That's some extreme lag. Yeah, we need more guns, man. The Citizens Defense Forums. Oh, everything's going well here in South Africa, isn't it? <coughs> All right, mate. What made you join the Cape Town uh, CDF? Well, said Kalen Walker, I recently started getting worried about the crime and the violence going around. So I bought a gun, but then that church got attacked, and I knew that wasn't enough, so I joined up to help the community, since the government can't seem to keep us safe. All right, said the militia leader, so how many guns do you have? Well, I got a 30, 357 revolver in my house, so I can bring it when I go on duty. A single 357? Oh, 35-7, yeah. No rifles or anything? Kalen shook his head. Well, said the militia leader, you're going to purchase a rifle. Everybody in this outfit needs a rifle for when we go hunting calf. Just like the commandos back in the old days. It worked well against the Bantu then, so why not now? So get a Mauser, preferably, and an automatic pistol, since you want to have the firepower in an engagement, and maybe a shotgun for your house, in case someone breaks in for your TV. Ammo? A box for the pistol, Kalen said, trying to wrap his head around what he had just been told. Two new guns? Where would he put them? He was already scared to death that his daughters might get to his gun and accidentally discharge it. And now he was going to get several more? Not enough, said the militia leader disapprovingly. You're going to need, want at least 200 rounds per gun at all times, and do it fast, since I hear there's a shortage coming with everyone buying it. So, do it when you get home tonight, I understand? Kaylee nodded, but he really didn't understand. Not as much as he would like, but what the heck was he doing here? Preparing for the worst. Oh, I love tearing a country down. Oh, tear, baby, tear. Buying packed guns, 750, or you can... Oh my gosh, that's so good. End packed trade. Bro, I don't want to do that. I Ooh. Oh, I want those factories though so eight and eight you get 750 a thousand guns i no. If, if, if this goes over 60 does it just trade end immediately or is that 
Ooh, I don't know. We do get equipment, but I don't want to end trade. I like that we're trading with them. Then again, we can also get this one too. A mili another military factory. That's not bad. Develop. Where do you develop Cape? We don't have that one. So, so we have like what? Love. Do we keep? Hold, hold on. Do we keep this stuff after the, during the war? I kind of doubt we get this with the, with the war going on. But you know what? I'll probably go play South Africa twice or so whatever. Um, eventually. Maybe not immediately, but eventually. <sighs> Militias would be nice. Ah, uh, screw it. Just get this. Uh, I want that one so badly. You can do get another. Where's Western Cape? Is this? Yeah, you get another infrastructure. So you technically you do get more steel. Or no, no, you get negative two steel. Huh? You get more rubber. And you can move equipment and soldiers through there faster. But I think I'm just going to choose. Yeah, choose this one. Another military factory. We need them. We just straight up need them. Sucks. That's all right. Hey, 18 out of 20. That ain't bad, man. That is not bad. Oh, look at that lag. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welsh Unionist win. Well, good job, Welsh people. Develop the roads. I would like that, but we're going to wait. The army on high alert. And reinforce the police. They need it. We get more guns and support equipment, which is exactly what we could use. You know, I think I might make our guys go up to 20 combat with, maybe. Maybe throw more literal anti-tank as well. That'd be really good as well, but... Specialized drive training? While our police are now well equipped to take care of the armed bands, there's another pressing issue. Since we can't simply open fire on unarmed demonstrators, we need to devise tactics to counter any possible situation from protests degenerating into spontaneous revolts. Crowd control equipment such as hydrants and tear gas and the use of specialized riot training should ensure that we're able to disperse even large manifestations without them, turning into a bloodbath which would only weaken us further. Are we losing... We're not losing this every week, but it's just not very good for us. Stability? We don't need you, apparently. We don't believe in stability here. The Punta del Estimating. Could they... Be planning another revolution? Probably. Please cut this down some more. That'd be great, 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 great. And reinforce the police, please. We. Oh, this actually got less support, huh? <clears throat> oh, keep boosting it up. Keep boosting it up for now. We need it. We need a boost. Boost, boost. Alright, Bayushin Lun, maybe? Nah. Somewhat supportive, which is awesome. I don't think we need to get everyone. 30%. Actually, 30% is not bad. High? Transvaal is high. That well, seems kind of like a lie. Hmm. 100%. Wow. High, high, high. I love it high. I don't want to do that one because it doesn't make sense for us to do. Nice. Oh, look at this. We have this stuff again. Yeah, if this happens again, like whenever I play South Africa again, and if we keep doing this stuff during the war... Then obviously that's better to do. I want to track more businesses. Two more is just so good. I've got to do that. <clears throat> Who's leading them? Our first concern should be taking out the leaders of the protests. The immense majority of Africans are indolent and unorganized, and capable of carrying forward their plans unrest. Without being led by small corps of educated radicals, if we manage to arrest the highest in the rank of the ANC, terrorists like Tambo and Mandela, the rest would slowly wither like a plant whose roots have been severed. We should start immediately with our surveillance, increase the number of informants, open more space in our maximum security prisons, so that we can strike at the best moment and behead their entire rebellion in one swift blow. Cool. Um, yeah, I want to wait for Transvaal. The farm, deploy, last for it, and Graf ground his head against it. The affair was all hush-hush. No one but the SAP's highest needed to know about every single detail. But eventually they hashed out a deal. Having acquired approval, deploy. A pick, first pick the best man for the job without the thousands under the agency's payroll. He settled on J.J. Deschwartz's dossier. The captain was a rising star on the Blixims, having earned his stripes fighting small flare-ups in Bayoshinland. Chops and counterinsurgency were worth their weight in all the rand's gold to the commissar, or commissioner, and so he stamped the man's transfer to his new station with his new rank. Next, he picked up a place for Major de Schwartz's new HQ. South Africa had no shortage of dis dilapidated homesteads half buried to understand, only that a sharp eye could catch their silhouettes among the bush. One eye spotted a complex 12 miles west from of Pret Pretoria. Fairly sizable, replete with provisions, and just far enough from civilization to stifle a scream of the open desert. Deploy approved a second expedition into what the preliminary call report calls Vlak Plas Farm. Lastly, he picked a name for his new inhabitants. Words in Afrikaans were struck out right off the bat. Given the task force's nature, Afrikaans only added to cast caustic irony. Neither were, were the words. Neither were words in Zosa. Zudlu, Bantu, and the country's thousands other native tongues considered for the same region. Indeed, Commissioner de Pluy chose a title so banal as to mislead the layman of the embryonic agency's true objectives. C1. C1 go boom. 
And who's leading them? We will find out very soon. So we gotta wait. Oh, I just want to. I want to get more land option. Develop orange. Oh, oh wait. We're still doing. We're still. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I remember what it is for this. Subsidized Transvolve Farms. That ain't too bad either. Keep going down that depth. God, I love have I love having minerals like this. Oh my goodness, minerals, rocks, whatever you want to call them. I really want to go to combat with twenty combat, but we only have, we're I have a deficit of thirty seven hundred, which is insane. Wait, I was not insane, but it looks really bad for us. How many artillery pieces do we not have? Minus two forty one, which is not terrible, but still, who's leading them? <sighs> we could keep doing this. You know what? I could do, I could risk it. You know what? We can risk it. I'm going to risk it. Why not? I get another infrastructure, too. Actually, free... Oh, wait. Why are we doing free orange... Why are we developing... Oh, that, that's a lot of that's a lot of good stuff there, man. I'll be honest. That's a lot of good stuff. Screw it. I'll do it anyway. Screw it. We can do it. I'll do both. Screw it. Who cares? I, I want as many diamonds. If we can't enjoy the diamonds, so be it. I just want to get it done. My bad. Just whatever. It, it is what it is. Transvaal, please come back to us. But who's leading them? Follow with who is funding them? Our preliminary investigations have revealed that the African National Congress possesses surprising amounts of funds, making them much more organized and supplied than we believe possible. Most black people within South Africa are very poor, and the few wealthy ones surely wouldn't be able to afford this much, but it's a start. Arresting one or two black businessmen whose tax returns show us holes, and questioning them with the proper instruments could lead us to somewhere. Still, this will only be the start. Who is giving so much money to the ANC? The Germans are their primary suspects, even about funding a black resistance movement. We retort against their mere seconds after our fall. They would not resist the chance of weakening the only bulwark keeping them from grabbing the whole continent for their fear. Just like the old saying goes, follow the Rand, and you'll find someone behind it. We can suppress voters. I don't really want to suppress them, though. To be honest, I don't really want to suppress them. But anyway, I want them to work with us. Yeah, get some more infrastructure. Because eventually, we're going to need that infrastructure. Because we're going to take them over anyway, so. Yeah, Transvaal, nice. There you go. That's what we want to see now. They're, they should be very supportive of us now. Robin Island. A few kilometers off the shores of Cape Town is a small, flat, <clears throat> oval-shaped island that rises a few meters above the surface of Table Bay. In 1654, Dutch settlers built a farm for sheep there in 1659. Achumato, the defeated leader in a war against the settlers, was exiled there. Since then, the island has been a home to a whaling station, a leper colony, a place to quarantine animals, and defense of fortifications in the Second World War, but it's always been regarded as a place to restore troublesome chiefs, native leaders, and other political prisoners by its owners. Recently, it has become the new permanent home to a number of radical prisoners. Daniels, Mandela, Mbeki, Mlahaba, Sisulu, Soku, uh, Sobukwe, and others who are too much of a threat to society to be allowed to exist on the mainland will be placed in the maximum security prison here. Their visitors can be cut off, their mail stopped and regulated, their cell block violated or isolated. The contact with the outside world shut, their existence is reduced to the five square meter cell, the table, and the straw mat to sleep on. If they behave, they might be able to work out in the quarry on the island, digging up lime. Out of sight, but not out of mind. Who is supporting them? Looking into the source of their money isn't enough. There are surely people external to the organization who are willing to help them with information and protection, which is perhaps even worse than money. While time will be needed to have a clear view, many investigators point to the National Party. Who else would gain support from a strong ANC? It would prove to the people that apartheid and racial segregation are necessary to keep order. We should focus our efforts into uncovering these boars who are helping the Congress and show to all our people that the crimes, their crimes against South Africa. They would rather burn our country than let us win or the coming referendum. Nice, we're going to lose some expertise, but it is what it is. Also, some comments that says, okay, so this one had, at the time of this recording, the vast majority of upvotes, um, at least I'm pretty sure it had, uh, don't oppress the natives, they rise up afterwards. Uh, but then I read, so this one, this one specific comment was not told one time, two times, three times, but was replied four times, like there's four times people said this in the comments from the last video, oppress the minorities. Well, we do be gaming sometimes. And someone says South Africa doesn't have content after the war, which sucks, but I'm sure South Africa's going to get a rework later on. So, Honestly, every war likes us, so screw the Orange Free State. You're going to like us too. So right now, they're at 33%. They went up by 2%. That's not bad. 
All right, anything here? 17 diamonds a month. We have six diamonds currently, which is not enough, but whatever. Um, better. Oh, this is not worth doing right now, but we'll do it anyways because, because, we, because why not? Because we can. Because we can. Keep boosting. Keep spending. Keep making. God, I'm not looking forward to the war. United Party activists harassed Orange. So that's our plan. Got it? Repeat it and do the rest. Reaffirming that each member knew their tests. Let's go, John said excitedly, gesturing towards the local town square. They moved towards a spot, hauling their equipment with them. Once they got to the center, they stood up they set up their booth. After that, they spoke into their megaphones and handed out pamphlets to nearby passerbys, to which they received cold reception and stony stares from the local folks. See? It's working. Looks like we're doing fine so far, joked Frederick with a cheerful expression painted on his face. A stone flew colliding with Frederick's face, causing him to stagger and collapse under the booth. His fellow accomplices attended to him worryingly, wordly, examining the damage in a hurried daze. It was a medium-sized scratch flowing with blood and staining the dirt below with a crimson tint. As Anna and Robert pulled out bandages to cover the wound, John stood between them and the crowd and forced in their distance. Which one of you threw that stone? asked John in an authoritative, an authoritative tone. He wasn't one to talk for much, but the anger he felt from seeing his friend injured pushed him over the edge. He repeated it again louder this time. Who threw the stone at Friedrich? No one answered him. I said, who threw the stone? yelled John, insulted by the silence. I did, shouted an old man. You people aren't appreciated in these parts. We stand by our loyal brethren, who pledge to make South Africa a better place. Our beloved party is run by our Boers, who are the original and rightful owners of this thriving land, not that filthy crown of yours. They know better than you, foolish youngins, remarked the old man. I don't want to see any of you ever again, so do you hear me? Scram! Screamed the old man, stamping his cane on the ground. The crowd started to murmur and began to close around John and his group. No more crown, no more kings, chanted the people, drawing closer and closer, shouting louder each time. John and the others huddled in a tight ring, trying their best to keep each other safe. Anna began to break down at the sight of the encroaching mob. John tried to keep him keep his calm um, demeanor, but eyes began to water and his face gripped with fear. For if Blumfontein was to be taken, it would only be over our dead bodies. Oh, that's not good. Let's see. Um, if we're gonna lose it anyways, you might as well spend it. Um, ooh, I like them civvies. By pack, that just, that's too, that's too good enough. Dude, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. So this is political power and reduced support for the monarchy, which sucks. I support 70%, 70%, 100%, 86%. Um, honestly, which one has more? I think it's trans, well, obviously Transvaal does. Bayesian Land, Natal, Cape. Cape? Yeah, yeah. They're both extremely supportive, so you might as well do. Bayesian Land is 2% of the population, though. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. Cape Natal is very. You just do Cape. It's ninety percent, seventy percent. I mean, extremely, extremely supportive, supportive. So, who's finding them? <coughs> Who needed political power? Who needed stability? You know, and figure out the the ANC has been pacified. Finally, our latest reports are much better than the previous ones. The African National Congress appears to have lost a great degree of influence over the black population, and the Boers seem at least content with our measures, thanks to the expanded and improved police. All protests from the ANC sympathizers have been broken down, and the streets are now safe for everybody. While the most pressing matters for our nation, such as the referendum, still loom over the horizon, there's no doubt that our reforms have ensured a rise in stability and popularity for our government. We get way more stability, which is actually really nice. And instead of a multi-party system, we got controlled opposition. Ah, yes. Controlled opposition. We love it, don't we? We love it. That's looking really good. How are the diamonds doing? Oh, Central Superior is killing itself. Subsidize is not bad. Um, we need more diamonds, of course. But we'll get quite a few next month. Develop more roads. I'd love to do that one, but... Malicious would be nice. Yeah. Actually, where are we at for equipment now? Still not good. We're good on motorized though, and support equipment's not bad either. Cause make sure we got engineers at the very least. I'm I'm kind of worried about manpower. I'll be honest, but that's all right. Keep spending. It's all right to spend sometimes. It really is. Oh, I'm not ready for the war. We got a few months left, but still. Nice. Can we need even more? Yes, we can. I want a lot of artillery, but... And the Germans, in order to keep cordial relationships with Germany, we have agreed long ago to keep an eye of regard for the fellow Aryan brothers, the Boers, who descended from Dutch colonists. While this might have to change in the near future in light of the growing disloyalty of the Boer community, this doesn't mean we are hostile towards the Reich or its positions in Africa. To cement our neutral standing, we shall send delegations to both Germania and the Reichskommissariats in hope of ensuring their non-aggression towards us. It's always difficult to understand what the Germans do these days, with their political situation slowly worsening. It's as if there are several Reichs, each with its own agenda, any of them able to make their troops move south. This is, of course, very worrying. <coughs> Regarding Braun Fischer, so what's his record? 
Lawyer, barred in Johannesburg since 1935. Card-carrying member of the SACP since seven years after that. Very close with the ANC. So much so, he led the Mandel's defense in the trial treason. Or treason trial. Man, like that's no nationalist. If it helps some, he used to be in college. And now the papers call him a terrorist pets defendant. Cut the cat, the pluie. What's your plan now that he's in custody? Do you even have one? He's a boar from Bloom, and that's what matters. Old joke about us, folk. God stamps and P reg sheets on the left booty cheek before Mally craps us out of her cook. They'll rag him about it long before they notice he's a fellow traveler. You're still cutting things close. If it backfires, it won't. And now, if there's anything else you need, Governor, I hope you're right, commis Commissioner. Good day. Look at that. Jesus Christ. 65%. It's not bad. The, everyone's... Oh my gosh. Everyone's extremely supportive except for the Orange Tree State, but they're like... Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. Lower their anger. Just give me them civvies because I want to trade them away immediately again. We need more steel. We'll trade with Germany just a little bit. Just, just bounce it out slightly more. And you know what? Get some aluminum. Screw it. I'm literally just trading them away. We still have one, which is nice, but like... Bro. Nice. The El Caltenazo. Cool. Yeah, that's not bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, actually, since we're here, give us more. Give us both this. Nice, nice. We got another one too, and we got another factory to use. That's not looking too bad. This is looking really good. We, need, of course, way more artillery. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go increase this by just one more, just so that we're ready for the war. The ANC, of course, has been pacified, which is awesome, 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 awesome. And, of course, the Germans. How much manpower do we have? Oh, yeah, we are on four-year conscription. 400,000 is actually really good. Holy crap. That's not bad. And rebuff the diplomats. As expected, both the USA and the Reich have tried to make us join their alliances. With the old order crumbling with every passing day, they are trying to strengthen themselves for the coming storm and are enlisting all possible help, predictably. Our envoys have returned from their missions carrying a truckload of officers, or offers, proposals, help promises, and subtle threats to show we choose one of them over the rest. Of course, we'll do no such thing. Our neutrality is paramount to our survival, as we are too divided within to be able to properly fight an outside enemy, therefore. We shall prop politely refuse all their offers, and remind them that we have a policy of open doors towards everyone in addition. We'll let slip that, should any of the great powers try to meddle in our eternal affairs too much, we will be forced to seek aid from the others. Hey, get more diamonds. Operation Malan. Operation Malan is showing uh, adequate progress. While Blue has suggested that working with native groups may be preferred, Juliet has once again pushed for continued assistance to trigger men. Groups. See Dacia 4.b for its associated names in order to ensure assistance from targets. Blue has argued that native groups would be more willing to accept assistance, while Julia has pro pointed out domestic issues that could follow if racial wars and fields were to occur, and points out that assistance to much more conservative triggermen groups could both ensure an easy transition to power, as well as provide a natural ally in domestic policy. Julia also points out that backing triggermen in Operation Malin, along with General Redacted C. Full Dossier Brief, to ensure the plan moves forward could lead to a bloodless coup in the case of the results of the referendum not being favorable. Understood. Screw it. Advise South African troops. I think that's what we want to do, right? That's exactly what I want to do. Fund the militias? God, I, if I could fund militias... Eh, well, this, the government's already spying on me anyways. But, like, if I could fund the militias in real life, that'd be really cool. Just saying. Just saying. We've got 21 diamonds. That's a lot. And we're not even close to finishing any of this stuff, so we might as well keep going, right? 21 diamonds a month. We might as well grab that. Go and grab that, too. Why not? Screw it. Just why not? Nice. I'm gonna do this stuff, too. Raise us. Uh, we need more. We need way more infantry equipment, man. Blood Brother. Advise South African troops? Eh, we'll try. Why not? I want to see what it's like, right? We want to see what it's like. We're here to ex experience a lot of stuff. And grab some more organization, because that would be very, very beneficial. And rebuff the diplomats. Nice. I mean, you guys are looking how? Are you guys, like, regulars now? Yeah, you pretty much are. These guys are our tanks. It doesn't look like tanks, but they do have armor on them. 47.1. They only have two tank things there, so... Let's see what Actually, we can throw more motorized on those guys. That wouldn't be bad. But Operation Colossus. Operation Colossus was initiated simultaneously with Operation Blood Brother and has continued following the successful conclusion of Blood Brother. Green Bray units have been instructed to integrate themselves into Triggerman at multiple levels in an exclusively advisory capacity. This advising has multiple objectives. Improve the efficiency or effectiveness of Triggerman as much as is feasible. Two, prepare the Triggerman for integration with Torch forces in the event of an invasion by a Crusader. Three, cultivate good relations with Triggerman. 
hierarchy and establish assets within both Triggerman and Host. 4. Identify Triggerman, officers with possible Crusader sympathies, objective 3, three and 4, are the primary goals of Colossus and are well on track to be met. Torch advises, or advisors, from the Green Berets have compiled dossiers on every significant Triggerman. Officer, I've noted several sympathizing with their cause. See Attachment A. Additionally, a clique of officers possessing dubious loyalty to fields has been marked. Attachment B contains a full list. Plans to remove those officers from their positions are currently being formulated, understood, and fortified just in case. It has become clear to us that the world is on the brink of another major crisis. Our neutrality may serve us very little as it did for Belgium and the Netherlands during the last war. Perhaps we should do something more to ensure that we have a chance of survival in the case the Germans decide to march south. Probably. The SADF High Command has proposed to us a plan to protect ourselves against the rabid wolves circling us. Our ring of defenses will be built along our northern borders, coupled with a fortified perimeter around the Cape where we will have our last stand with our backs against the sea. Some call it concerns unfounded, and the plan will be a mere waste of money, but it can be the salvation of our country if the Panzer's armored wheels start spinning. Cool. Buy pack guns, fund the militias. Oh, another smilly would be so nice to have. Guns would be nice, but we get guns there too. Stationing's not bad, but... A thousand guns. I mean, we could use that immediately. Like, we really could. But another... I gotta go with the Millie first. A Millie just... Did we get the Millie? I hope we get the Millie. Okay, so this is a case. This is gonna suck. Three, four, five, six. Alright, so I'm gonna probably abandon the very northern area, just because we... There's no way we can hold that. I mean, look at all the territory we still have to hold. Look at all that. <coughs> Excuse me. We get defensive. Oh, we're going to go ambusher. Because actually, ambusher for defense is much better than infantry expert. Because you only get infantry division attack. For this one, though, you get wax entrenchment, supposedly for everyone else. Ian Smith shot. He sounds very familiar. Ian Smith, a South. Oh, there it goes. South Rhodesian emigre and United Party MP for the Cape Province, was shot today outside the Vyberg Airport after returning from home from Parliament. MP Smith, a staunch unionist known for his fiery speeches condemning both Boer separatism and universal black suffrage was entering a limousine outside the terminal at noon. A masked man approached him, fired a revolver four times into his back, and fled in a great car driven by an accomplice. Despite the police's best efforts, it seems that all their leads have turned into dead ends. None of the eyewitnesses or eyewitness witness reports consistently identified the type of revolver the man used, or the make and model of the car he drove. Some claimed that the assassin yelled for the NC, while others insisted he yelled, Boer shall be free. Smith was a man with many enemies in both the Boer and black communities of Vryborg, so neither group can be fully placed above suspicion. The investigation shortcomings, however, have failed to deter Smith's supporters and constituents from demanding justice be served. What shall we do? Pull over the first black man in a great car you see? Bring in a boar man and plant a gun, plant a gun on him. We will not prevent, prevent justice to placate the mob. I don't want to lose any more stability. Well, I mean, I don't know. I just want the monarchy, man. At least for now. Uh, that's not bad. I get more political power too. What do we want to do? Yeah, I don't want to hurt ourselves here with that stuff. I don't want to lose stability or political power, so. Pervert justice to placate the mob. Um. Well, I mean, we kind of didn't want to hurt these guys too. A and C. Eh. Oh, I guess we'll just do that one way out. Fortify just in case. For South Africa. With our internal problems solved, or at least contained for the time being, we can begin addressing the more pressing concerns coming from both within and without a country. There's much to be done for the good of the country, and we finally have the means to do it. Forward in the future. For South Africa. And let's just hope it goes well, because odds are it's definitely not. Let's keep going this way, too. Let's get some more defense. Always trying to get more defense, and probably good to get some more anti-tank. Are we looking here? We're looking like we're, we're really building. We're, we're builders here. We're builders. We like building a lot. Cut that down. Too. Thank you. Um, seven, seven. Oh, that's bad. Grab another one from America. Why not? Screw it. Build even more. Guns are looking not too bad. That's good. That's looking better here. Not great here. We still need ooh, get some more stuff, please. Um, I don't want to save the political part for this stuff, so we'll see. But we need more other stuff to research just... This, is, this one's too good. It's seriously just literally too good. I might grab this one too if we have enough diamonds, maybe. Buy packed guns. You know what? I'm going to do that once. It's only eight. Let's do that because we can really use the guns, right? Buy OFN guns. Now that's looking us so much better. Oh my goodness. Someone opposed? You know what? Screw it. Go to Orange Free State again. And now they're at 41%. Ah, that ain't too bad. I do wonder what's going to happen though. 
We'll get this one done first. We'll be able to get that one done. That's not bad. What is this one? Buy open goods. That's all right. <coughs> cool. We got four days left. I mean, that's that's really not bad at all. We need way more tanks, though. Hopefully, America gives us a lot of stuff. Iberian Council. That's fine. No one cares. We're still at 41%. Military budget boost. Keep. Just, just spend. Just spend out the wazoo. Good. You made another one. Good. 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 Fortify just in case. And Natal, Transvaal, and the Cape. Well, so much for this area, but whatever. Maun is going to be taking over. Orapa. Yeah, I don't think there's really much we can do about that area. Not bad. Really not bad, just in case. Um, someone opposed 10%, so. Yeah, everyone's extremely supportive of us, which is great. So I do want to see if anything else happens here, like... Ooh, diamonds? No? Okay. Well, I'm going to get our land auction done for the vast majority of this stuff, so. <laughs> so nice getting that done. Oh, we're almost done. With oh! I want to spend more diamond mines, please. Oh my gosh. Just get more businesses, please, 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 please. Build us up more. Build us up more. And Albert Hetzog calls a national vigil. The death of Adolf Hitler has come to the ears of the National Party, and they answered it with sorrow and passion at the call of Hetzog. Members of the party did come together so they may hold a vigil for the fear. And in the name of the man, they seemed to mourn. They are calling for a week exclusive to Hitler's respect. People should light candles for the fallen German. Businesses, they demand, should come closing down. Reports of Anbua men are reaching us, and the details suggesting that they are organized by the National Party and are not only providing security for the mourners, but also forcing businesses to close down and threaten their political opponents. From Port Elizabeth up to Petersburg, it seems that this is not something we cannot ignore. Hetzog is making a very interesting gamble on the behalf of this party, cleverly using his vigil as a way of rallying supporters. Hetzog proclaims that his lockdown of the country will stay until the South African government pays proper respect to Adolf Hitler and announce what they call the Anglo-American imperialist interference on South Africa. We cannot this happen. We cannot allow us to become the greater than it is. They are defying the Dominion. Get them under control. We'll see. What's this one? Attract over. Ooh, yeah. Not bad. Now just let us cut down that debt. That debt is almost gone. Can we please get rid of it before anything else bad happens? Police refuse to crack down a national party. Well, would you look at that? What's going on here? We have a problem. The police were sent, or this police was sent to disperse the Boa's vigil. But it seems that things are not going the way we want them to. One of the officers, Eugene Terreblanche, has refused to carry out his orders. He has gone over to the Boers, joining them as his fellow officers either observe him in shock or follow his example and deserted too. According to reports, the crowd was roused to applaud him. He spoke to them, delivering a big speech by the side of Hetzog, praising his policies in one independent Boer nation. Terre Blanche was known inside the SAP as especially devoted to the ideals of the National Party, and it seems that he's letting himself free to do as he pleases against any authority. South Africa, of course, cannot approve this. The whole country is watching him receive a glorious ovation from the masses out in the streets, insulting the authority of the government. We are losing control of the situation. Not only is he defecting to them, thanks to his actions, the rest of our officers are refusing to disperse the protests. If we do nothing, some, nothing soon, we may lose the country. And we've deployed the army. Oh, lovely day. So if that's the case... Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy, October 26th, Germany must be going exploding now. Going exploding, probably not going exploding, but yeah. Sometimes I really, like really hard for the German Civil War. Uh, that's the case, I'm just gonna go ahead and abandon like the area here. Uh, so it begins, whatever. It was destined to happen. Okay, I don't think we'll be able to garrison this much. I'll be honest, yeah, I don't think we could really garrison this much. Let's go over here. Yay! Uh, I'm gonna do that and then go down there maybe. I don't know, whatever. Blomfontein? Something like that probably would be... Oh, hello. GGR. Come on, GGR. America's our new best friend. There you go. Make sure we can produce enough for now. Because good God, we're going to need it. Guns are looking really good, though. Franco-Burgundian War. Very cool. Uh-oh. Trade with the Pact is over. Oh, no. Tr yep, it's not available. Um, that's for You know, I'm just going to get that one. I wanted to do some of this stuff, but it doesn't look like it's going to be possible. Actually, we still got some political power we can use up here, too, so. Raise workers' hours. That's not bad. I don't really want to do that, though. We do get more output, though. Recon company just in time for the war, probably. I'll uh, grab some of that because you can. Lower workers' pensions. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Expand the diamond mines. Uh oh. It's not yet, not yet. <coughs> Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Okay, are we lagging? I think it, it, it is exploding now. No, it's not. For South Africa. Okay, so we have to wait here then. Because I would like to end with us exploding, so... The Cape Town Massacre. Oh, there we go. Troops arrived at Cape Town. The transports reaching the grounds of the Parliament. They swiftly came out of them, forming up against the protesters, obeying the orders of their officers, as sergeants shouting at their men to move quietly. Or quickly, at least. Things would have gone well had it not been for a series of unfortunate events. The protesters, surprised but also provoked at the army's presence, stood the ground refusing to leave. The troops kept telling them, but the boards were pressing against them. Barricades were toppled. Protesters were picking up rocks and throwing them at the men, and rumors of armed boars coming to help the kinsmen fight back were getting to the soldiers. Confused orders came through. Instructions to the contrary were issued. These mixed with shouts of the protesters, the din of the strife, and the sirens of the abandoned police cars made the worst happen. In just several bursts from the rifles and carbines of the soldiers, forty people, none of, with them, none of them with weapons as feared by the alarmed troops, lay dead on the ground. The crowds were not dispersing, but not because they wanted to. They had to. Their brothers and sisters, their mothers and fathers, were, they were scattered upon the ground, broken and bleeding. It was a horrifying massacre. And the, the news and the news of this came all came over all of Af South Africa. Turn the entire land against the armed forces. Only the worst can come out of this now. It's too late to go back. Cool. All right, look at untrained militia. Jesus Christ, I, those guys suck. Actually, I'm gonna pull probably pull you out and use you as a kind of uh, a force where we I can just stick you wherever we need. So, actually, you're level four defense. So that's not bad. And I want as much defense as possible. So there, there you go. And go scavenger whenever we can. So that'll be good. You guys just kind of hang out for now. Just kind of hold. The Warsaw Uprising. The Nazi Empire continues to crumble. Very nice. English Civil War is nice. This is well armor. I think we have more m m motorized anyway, so... I want more armor defense. Why not? Screw it. I love, I love armor. And let's see. It seems like this is probably going to be another part of the focus tree after this, right? Look at that political power. That's really nice. Our growth goes down, which doesn't matter. You know, honestly, that doesn't seem too bad. Screw it. Raise the work hours, because at this point we're going to need it. 20 diamonds a month, not bad, but still. Hidden heroes, not bad. Oh, and there we go. That is not good. Less than a billion in debt. Serbs rise up, very good. Just give us a couple more. Just, just one more time. One more time, please. Point. Pretty much a political power day is not bad. The Civil War begins. The slaughter of Cape Town was just a start in a wave of blood crashing on our nation. The most of our Afrikaner citizens are now openly hostile, rallying around the head of the National Party, Albert Herzog, who has declared us to be the criminals and illegitimate leaders. His followers have taken weapons into their hands. There's no turning back now. The civil War is upon us. South Africa is coming apart. The great cities of Pretoria, Johannesburg, and Bloemfontein are falling into control of the Boers. Angry militias are sprouting up all over the land, turning their weapons on anyone they think is on the side of the government. The law of the land is lost, and any semblance of order we once had is destroyed. There's no way out of this but to fight. The more ground we lose to these people, the more our republic steps closer to the grave which has been dug. Some might say this was our fault, but we must accept it quickly and begin our defense. Sooner, for sooner or later, these boards will be joined by those darn Germans who planned it all from the north. And the war must be the only way out of this alive, and shedding more of the blood of these men can be put an end to, to the division of our land, then so be it. We'll stand our own ground too, and we will by means no not tolerate another conflict with these cursed rebels. South Africa will have to will keep will fight to keep itself alive and to keep itself united despite everything. For Africa our land. Which means we're gonna go to war with these guys as well, which is gonna suck hard, baby. I don't know, I don't I don't think I wanna Oh these guys are already technically set up, so you guys technically are already there, so if we just use you all for this, that actually might go okay. Something like that. And you guys get ready to invade and hopefully do okay. well just at least hold. My goal is for them to at least hold, but let's finish off with our nation in flames. South Africa, our land is now engulfed in the infernal war. We're facing many enemies, especially those beyond our own borders as well as with wind. It's no longer possible for us to stand by and watch as these horrible things happen. Let us meet the challenge and shrink not from fear. The only choice we have now is to fight for our lives and for our land, for South Africa. And you know what, we'll read one more because we can. Our American allies. America's support will boost weekly manpower gain by 150. That ain't bad. The hidden war. Ooh, boost core defense and army organization. Ooh. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, ooh. We're going to lose a little bit of manpower, but honestly, manpower we can be okay with right now. 
More organization and defense seems really good. The Hidden War. Knowing they aren't able to feed us and our American allies by fighting fair, the German invaders exploited the divisions in our country to weaken her, our will to fight. Spearheaded by the traitor Albert Herzog and armed to the teeth with German weapons and equipment, armed terrorist militias are terrorizing loyal citizens, murdering army recruiters, raiding our supply lines, laying landmines on our roads, and ambushing our troops. The so called Hidden Front is taking its toll not only on our men, supplies, and morale, but also to the spirits of our allies back in the U.S. who begin to question their presence in our continent. It must be stopped. We've already beaten them twice and we'll do it again no matter if they call them themselves commandos or werewolves. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when the war for South Africa's soul truly begins. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.